the planning was very good and the and the results we're very uh, satisfied uh, uh, of the results the remaining building uh, collapsed into itself it didn't occur any um, damage to the environment to other buildings it didn't damage the the pile so we would be able to get on the pile back um, less than 20 minutes after the after the uh, demolition the emotion is both uh, relief and uh, of course uh, uh, that we had the chance to get to a new all area which was uh, before closed and uh, we weren't allowed to uh, hang inside and uh, search inside it because the, there was a major risk to the rescuers. Actually, we uh, experienced for the last, uh, let's say, 16 hours, uh, an increase of, uh, of the amount of uh, trapped and, and, and missing that we are able to, to get to. And uh, we believe that the, uh, the demolition uh, uh, helped us to get, as I said, to a lot of new areas and also to spread more rescuers on a, um, a wider field on the pile. Another uh, positive result uh, for the demolition is that uh, we'd, we'd be able to get inside uh, more uh, bulldozers than we uh, could uh, do uh, before the demolition. Uh, before it, we uh, actually operated two or three uh, maximum and now we operate four bulldozers uh, including one one bulldozer inside the parking lot which was um, uh, it was absolutely uh, unreachable and untouchable because of the conditions of the pile <laughs> The, the past uh, 10 days that the Israeli delegation is here in uh, Miami, we get a huge hug from the community, community a lot of help, a lot of uh, goodwill, a lot of uh, love, and we, we feel it. And it, it gives us the motivation because the, the, the actions uh, along the, the operation are, are very tough. We work around the, the clock 24-7 in, uh, in changing weather and uh, uh, look at these people and, and feel that our action influenced their, their mood and the way they uh, uh, see the, the, uh, that we are, we are willing to do everything to, to save the, the trap. <laughs> He knows my daughter. Yeah. <laughs>